Welcome back to The Daily Grind, everyone. Today, we're gonna to be planting some summer squash like zucchini. And here is a bed that I have garlic growing. Now, the garlic will be harvested in about a month. And the reason why I'm planting these here with the garlic is because last year, I had a major problem with cucumber beetles, vine burrs, and squash bugs. All of those plagued all of my squash. I had a bunch of zucchini, I had some winter squash, and they, they got hit hard by all those. In fact, I lost a couple plants due to the vine borers, just lost them completely. So right here, like I said, are the garlic. And garlic actually deters a lot of these pests. They don't like the smell. Now, is it 100%? No, it's not, but any little bit help. And this is probably the heaviest plagued plant that I grow in the garden by pests. If I plant those right in with the garlic, that'll be perfect to be able to keep them off. Plus, I'll do other things as well. If I need to spray, hopefully I don't, but if I do, I will. Um, I'll, of course, if I see them, come in and pluck them off. I'll be looking for signs of the vine borers and try to you know, fix that issue. There's a couple things you can do, but let's make it easier on ourselves and plant in with the garlic. So that's what we're gonna do today, and I'll bring you guys in and show you what I'm doing. So the varieties I'm gonna be planting today, this is a Black Beauty. This is your common zucchini, just what you're used to seeing in the grocery store is zucchini. Uh, very similar. Black Beauty is just an heirloom variety. Uh, this is the Sunburst Summer Squash. They're really beautiful, but they're, they're really interesting looking. They're a squatty, wide looking summer squash. Uh, these ones are yellow and then I've got the white bush scallop which is also the same shape but it's white. It's not it's not yellow. And then I've got an eight ball zucchini. So the eight ball it's like a zucchini only they're round rather than long like oblong. All the holes are now dug. I'm doing that first because these are very heavy feeders so I want to give them some supplemental food so about a half a handful of this. This is organic uh, granule fertilizer. It's a 624. We definitely want for root development this bone meal and we want a lot of it. You can see I've got quite a bit in each one of these holes because we definitely want this root development to kickstart. So bone meal is great for root development because it is a two this one's 217.0, so it's a, it's almost all phosphorus. It's, it's a lot of phosphorus, which is great for root development. But blood meal here, that's this black stuff, that's mostly nitrogen. You can see I'm just doing a, a light dusting. It's not a whole lot, because this is almost all nitrogen. And since we have a lot of nitrogen in that fertilizer right there, we don't necessarily need it with this. This one's the eight ball. We'll put the little marker. And the way I plant these is I get them pretty deep because all this will turn into roots for me. So I get them right at the base level here where those truly or the first set of leaves start. And you can see that good root development. Now this is pretty dry. So we are going to have to water this fairly quickly as soon as we get in the ground. Now that it rained last night, so this ground isn't super wet. In fact, there we go. So let's go ahead and make sure that's buried all the way down. And you can see these have much longer. I actually need to get down fairly deep here. Get that marker right in front. And that one is not all the way down, but that's good enough. So what I'm using here is a combination of this Mora Bloom. It's a zero, so no nitrogen, but it's all potassium and phosphorus or sorry phosphorus and potassium and then i've got this fish fertilizer which is mostly nitrogen a little bit of phosphorus and potassium but this stuff is great to add especially with the granule fertilizers because it has a bunch of little microbes in it that will help break down those granule fertilizers even faster it also gives them a boost right away because those granule fertilizers are not readily available for these plants just yet and so they've got to be broken down by the soil biome. And, and this stuff is ready right away, but also has a bunch of great little microbes in it growing. It's basically the fish plant food is emulsified fish. So it's got a lot of bacteria and molds and stuff in it that actually are beneficial and will break down all that. Then we've got to just fill this up. Now we're going to do as best a job as we can not to soak the leaves of these because it is hot and sunny today 
If a little bit gets on there, that's fine. But we want to not drench these leaves because the water will intensify that sun. And these are brand new, freshly in the ground. And it can burn them. So I want to be careful. So for these zucchini, I like these really big, thick stakes. And you always want to stake right when you plant because that can damage the roots of these plants if they start the roots start sprawling out. Now luckily, garlic, the roots don't sprawl out too much, so I don't think I'm damaging the roots of the garlic, but we will go ahead and use a little hammer and get this deep in the ground, as deep as we can. There we go, so this is solid. This is not gonna fall over. That will be a good support system for this to come up. All the stakes are in the ground. Go ahead and start training these upward. So another thing you could use are tomato clips, but you can only use them when you first start because the stems of these get real big. And plus you gotta deal with the thickness of this. But for these little pieces here, just to ensure that this is growing towards that, I can get that clip on there and that's gonna keep this from blowing off and hopefully grow up the post. And these grow really quick. So, I mean, really in one week, you'll notice a huge growth. I mean, we'll have multiple more leaves as long as I don't have problems with these vine burrs coming through and destroying them. Bring you guys back in a couple days. So today is April 5th. This is about four days since I planted. And you can see how well these have grown. They're getting quite big. It's towards the end of the day here, so it's a little dark, but I even already have eight ball zucchini with a flower right here. Now, it's been really windy, really windy. And it broke off a couple of these leaves, but I'm, I'm looking here and this is growing right towards this. So we're, we're good. Um, so I can actually, at one point here, come in and tie to it, okay? So uh, I'll use jute fiber for that. And some of these have grown faster than others. It's a little slower, okay? But most of these are doing really well. In fact, I even have some eight balls growing on this, some zucchini. Let's see what is going on here. Got tossy. We still got this one. That didn't get knocked over. But we got flowers, but no like zucchini. No female uh, flowers. So all the male on those. If you guys like this kind of content, please subscribe and hit that bell notification for future video updates. Also, if you could hit the like button, it would really help me and the channel out. I will see you on the next video. Now you guys try to escape the daily grind.